back underway. Second semi-final in the women's featherweight category. Bushra Ahmed already advanced and now on your screens. Mariam in the blue tape, Sajida Kalsoom in the red tape. Referee Zaman Khan in the middle. Toughest job on the day, being a referee for amateur fights. Both fighters meet in the middle. Good high kick by Saj that is start blocked by Mariam. Oh, good movement by Mariam, but she's keeping her head up by chin exposed. Yeah, this waving those arms. Oh, oh. she's going for the guillotine. Sajda gets back up. Mariam's trying to pull <laughs> Sajda back to her corner, but she needs to be attentive in this fight. Mariam being cornered, of course, by Mudassar Hungarian. Team M Hungarian in Islamabad. They produce a lot of decent female fighters. One of them will be in the finals tomorrow. And Bush Rafter had a great fight today. Good one two by Sajda. Mariam ate that on the chin. Mariam just throwing haymakers at Sajda, but Sajda doing a good job defensively. Yeah, Sajda's got that back control now. Mariam needs to turn around. Well, she has already. Mariam needs to just continue throwing those strikes and potentially try a level change. Standing guillotine attempt oh, there. She's going for the guillotine. Yeah, but she should stay upright if she wants to get yeah. that done. She gives a thumbs up to Sajda. Yeah, Mariam had a potential standing guillotine, especially yeah. with that height advantage, but kind of let it go. She let it go. Falling down on her knees. She has completed a takedown, though, so not for nothing. Mariam's giving everything she has into this guillotine, but it's in an awkward angle. That's why it's not playing its part. She's just burning her arms out and Sajda keeps on giving the thumbs up again and again. Meaning she's perfectly A-OK. -okay. Shots to the midsection by Mariam and Mariam's just, just exhausting her arm in this position, in this awkward position. And Sajda gets back out. Sajda with the non-stop shots to the body, to the back, lower back. Yeah, Sajda is going to end the round here. She's throwing those shots. Mariam separates but gets kicked off to end round number one here. In the These girls still want to go at it uh, even after the buzzer. Well, they will get a chance in round number two. Yeah. The winner of this fight, of course, facing the reigning defending champion, Bushra Ahmed, in the final tomorrow. And just to remind you, the finals of the National Fighting Tournament take place tomorrow, same place you're watching right now. And if you want to be here, be here at SA Gardens Phase 2 in Kala Shakaku. A nice little drive from where you are. Get away on a Sunday, get out of your house, come watch some mixed martial arts. We just want to thank all of our sponsors, SA Gardens, Discover Pakistan, HUFC Club. Of course, this is all organized by PMMAF. None of this is possible without SAG it's MMA and SA Gardens. And of course, our broadcast partners over at Sports Info Pakistan. Great, great, great broadcasting tonight by these guys throughout the night. No glitches, no errors. They've been broadcasting MMA for a couple of years now. Couldn't be happier with the way they've progressed as a team. What Mariam needs to do right now is she needs to be a bit more precise with her punches. She's getting the range, but they're just not as precise as they should be. She's mostly throwing haymakers. She needs to change that. On Sajda, on the other hand, she needs to keep on doing what she's doing. Be good defensively. <laughs> Sajda really motivated and ready to go in the second round.
यार केज पर जो भी है काइंडली अपनी जगह से मत लीजिए प्लीज केज के दरवाजे पे जो भी भाई है some problem with the cage corners there all part of the plan no worries we are underway once again round number 2 ladies and gentlemen mariam in the blue sashta in the red Both, both fighters need to engage in some activity now. We need some output from both of them. We need some output from both of them. Mariam is throwing that left hand up, leaves her open to a strike. Sajda clearly has a wushu background. Oh, Mariam throwing haymakers. Oh, wild oh. strike there. Left lands for Mariam. She landed a few on Sajda. Sajda's eyes rolled back up. Now she's good. Oh, now Sajda goes for the right hand. Yeah, if Mariam can just control the way her arms are flailing out so much, it's going to generate way more power and be a better punch. But you can't make those adjustments in the fight. You have to make them in training. Yes. Clearly, both these girls don't have a lot of fight experience. This is also the first fight of both of their NFT3 experiences not a lot of women in the 65.8 kilogram category yeah it's a big category for women in, uh, to fight in yeah even in the UFC there's just a bare minimum of featherweights as well in the best promotion yes. yet in Pakistan we have featherweights as well in the female division yeah just outstanding Mariam working with the jab trying to land it on Sajda actually the UFC doesn't have any more female fighters at featherweight yeah true Mr. Saman Bunch to the rescue <laughs> but the boss calling out anytime we have some kind of food as the girls exchange once again Sajda enters gets caught for her troubles Mariam getting some redness on her nose one minute to go into the second round Mariam lands a jab there now trying to press up Sajda against the cage Sajda is going to end up on top. That's crucial for her in this Dominant round. Dominant position for Sajda. This could be really important, but Sajda should have just held that position yeah. and thrown some strikes, but now she's given Mariam top control once again. A part of me is just praying this does not stop. It goes to a decision, so there's no controversy. Pick up the little loud. <laughs> Mariam doing her best to stay busy off the top here. Those aren't even kicks. She's kind of just touching her with the leg, just patting her. She's building her way up. To what? Oh! Strong oh. shots by Mariam. That's a hard shot. That. Uh, thank God she didn't step on her face. Yeah, that would have been illegal. Can we end the round. Seems like Mariam has two in the books, but this kind of fight would even be harder to judge than one with a lot of high octane action, you know? Nonetheless, we will be back. The winner of this fight faces the defending champion, Bushra Ahmed. Tomorrow, don't go anywhere. Stay right here. The biggest MMA amateur champion in the country, NFT. True.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming you back to round number three. Sajda in the red, Mariam in the blue. Both fighters need to produce some output to rack up the win and head on to the final to face Pusha Ahmed. Sajda, the extremely flat footed, looking at the ref, and the ref calls a stop. Sajda slows down every time to hear what her corner has to say. There are some kids playing in the cage behind us. That's interesting. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot by the cameraman. Outside leg kick for Mark. Beautiful. Just missed. Oh. Oh. A jab and another left hand for Sajda. And immediately they're 10 feet apart. Oh, couple of awkward looking punches there land for Mariam. Sajda keeps looking over at her corner to the extent that her corner is like, no, keep fighting. Whenever they're getting close, it's a phone booth brawl, ladies and gentlemen. But no one's answering. Yeah. I'd like to see them in a phone booth brawl. Like an actual phone booth. Mariam right now. That'll be interesting. Mariam has a grip on her body, has a body lock, knees by Sajda, some fists by her now as well in that clinch position. She needs to really dig for those underhooks, try to reverse this position. Mariam grabbing a hold of the leg. Sajda seems to be in pain or she's really trying to generate some power. Look. Being an amateur and going three rounds is not easy at all, Daniel. And they're just exhausted right now. One minute to go into the third and final round. And then we determine who goes into the final to face Bushra. I understand, but if anything they're going to take away from this, it's their cardiovascular, it's their conditioning. Because this is the first fight both these women are having in the tournament. Yep. This is the third round of the fight where we haven't seen a lot of action. And if they're both gassed out, then yeah, they gotta get up in the morning, go for a run. <laughs> for real. That's the only way to get it done. For real, for real. Get your MMA rounds in. Work on your grappling, work on your striking as well. Sash does not have the knowledge to reverse this position. Mariam does not have the knowledge to complete this position. And we're gonna end the fight right here. We go to the judges' scorecards. The winner will be facing Bushra Ahmed in the finals tomorrow. We will be back with the official decision. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, yeah.